Hey guys, hello and welcome to the studio. I'm Stephanie, this is Deliberately Creative, and I'm just going to be taking you through a project that I'm working on and a coloring book update on the artwork that I've got going on for a new coloring book. But I just wanted to say first up right here at the beginning, thank you. Thank you so much for your kind comments, your positivity, your con contribution to being part of this community. I really appreciate you. Every single one of my patrons, every single one of the people that just stops to watch this video or any of my videos, thank you. I appreciate you and I am so grateful that you're here. So we're going to jump right in here. I am working on a painting. This is the biggest painting I've ever done. It's an 18 by 24. It is on paper. It's a Fabriano mixed media paper. So it's acid free and all that good stuff. But really I'm looking at this as like a giant sketchbook sketch because I didn't want to get precious with it, especially from the very beginning. I am standing at my desk working and I'm looking out the front windows of the house. And we have this fence line with brambles and there's houses across the street with trees. And I've got this uh, deck railing. I can see the deck railing from where I stand. Now it ends up being that the deck railing becomes a fence because what that green area is right there was my cricket. Uh, cutting machine <laughs> and I realized it didn't read as a machine it read as like green grass so I just went went with it and just said heck <laughs> I'm just gonna go and say that's green grass but that comes a little bit later right now I'm just blocking in and I'm using that palette of Hemi gouache because it is a lot of paint there's it's very inexpensive I don't have to worry about it interfering with any acrylic or anything like that. So why not use the stuff I have? And that's part of my goal in the studio is to use what I have instead of going out and buying a ton of new stuff. I'm still buying stuff, guys. I can't stop buying art supplies, partly because I'm doing a YouTube channel and I want to share new things with you guys. As I'm saying this, I'm looking across at a box from Blick <laughs> of stuff that I need to do a little quick unboxing art haul for. If you're interested, leave a comment and let me know. Do you like art hauls? Do you want to see art hauls and swatching? I have a swatching video that I swatched all of my uh, watercolor pastels wax oil pastels and uh, that are all water soluble. So I uh, just put that up last week. It hasn't been getting very many views. So I'm wondering if people don't like the way I do swatching or if they're just not into it. Um, let me know, leave that comment. I really would like to do more because I love swatching. I love having the the colors there to look at. So, you know, you do what you do, right? And right now, what I need to do is start putting out my acrylic paints. And these are the cheap acrylic paints. C-H-E-E-P exclamation point acrylic paints. They really are cheap too. They're like two or three dollars for a four ounce tube. They are softer body. They do have a sheen. When you're all done, it still um, is a little bit shiny. I like the matte quality of gouache better or the gouache, acrylic gouache. So, you know, just, um, but I'm still, I'm using what I have. And I had that from when I was doing a lot of my acrylic pouring and I was trying a whole bunch of different paints out. So I've got a ton of cheap, as in inexpensive paints around here. And I'm just gonna use them in all of my practice because part of this practice is just one, to learn to let go, be free and not be precious. And two is to have fun. 
So back to the painting really quick. I am painting in a, this is a lemon bush that is uh, from memory. It is just a little lemon tree in a pot that I am remembering we had a lemon tree for a long time that we actually got lemons on. So I put that into this picture and then it was like, I need something a little alive. So I decided to put in the nosy neighbor. And this is a flamingo. <laughs> Who has a flamingo inside the house looking out the window? I don't know, but I have painted a flamingo before. So I did a an acrylic poured painting of a flamingo several years ago. It's I don't think it's even on the channel anymore. If anybody wants to see it, you got to let me know. I'll make it public again. But hardly anybody watched it, so I wasn't worried about it. But I am looking to the side at the poured painting. So I have a flamingo painting that I did. That's a reference. I have memory for the plant in front of me. And I have the real life looking out my front windows with the curtains. So, and the reason why the curtains are different colors right now is because my studio is really kind of funky and I've got a blue panel on the right hand side of my window and it, I have a white panel on the left hand side of my window. And this changes. So as I start building up the acrylic paint on here, things are gonna change. And I like it way better once I've finished up putting all of the different colors in. So this nosy neighbor, right now he's kind of in silhouette, sort of. You can see some of his color. I brighten him up a little bit more. And I do have a little conversation with my husband in a few minutes. So I'm actually going to stop right here, let this continue to play for a few minutes, and then, oh no, actually, I need to talk about my coloring book. So I am working on a neurographic styled coloring book that has real animals and real trees and real flowers, real as in you know, the animals were all drawn from references. The flowers and the landscapey bits were, and trees were drawn from my memory. And then there's some of the really abstract neurographic styled things. And the neurographic being, you know, you put lines on a page, you um, release your uh, limiting beliefs. I think is what I, I look at it as you release your limiting beliefs and concentrate on the positive things. And in that concentration on the positive things, you're doing the rounding. That is my favorite part, the rounding. Anywhere that lines intersect or come together in a point, it gets rounded, it gets smoothed, it gets softened. And it's an amazing effect the difference between something that doesn't have the rounding and something that does. I'll put that up here. Look at this. The, the one on the left is the original drawing. The one on the right is the original drawing with all of the rounding. Oh my gosh. You get depth. It makes it feel like there's automatic shadows. I love this. And I I love coloring these. It is amazing. Now, I did do a color version of the tiger for my cover of the coloring book. So here's this one. The background was a watercolor painting that I did. And then I did the coloring of the tiger on top. So this was layered together in Procreate. So I have, you know, everything put together to go digital to be in the coloring book I'm drawing all of this digitally also so just um, realize that drawing can be done with any of your tools they don't you know drawings don't have to be limited to just pencil and paper or charcoal and newsprint or pen and uh, paper or pastels or whatever you're using it does you don't have to limit yourself 
to just a physical medium, you can use digital mediums also. I tend to use my Apple Pencil and the Procreate app cool. and just start Fun drawing. Fun. I'm thinking this is going to get like um, boards like a deck mm -hmm. right. and then that's going to be like a fence that's out there even though that was supposed to be through the window the the railing of the deck right. and then this was supposed to be that green thingy right there right. but then i put my my lemon i might put it i might put another little pot of something you're right gonna do here. a lighter color there you're gonna leave it kind of shadowed well he's kind of in silhouette because he's looking out the window oh, with the light okay. from outside coming right, right. in yeah yeah and the lights so, you know, I'll, I'll see what we end up with. Hey guys, welcome back to the studio. This is the next day and I am really just pushing in with more of the acrylic paint. I'm trying to not be precious. I'm trying to stay back on, on the end of my brush and not um, get in tight I'm trying to keep it loose. I was, um, and have been in the last few weeks, just binge watching Sandy Hester on um, YouTube and checking her out on Instagram. I, um, she has this wonderful loose style that she's been developing over the last year or two that is so just heartwarming and um, kind of evocative of the you know the the naive painters in a way um, not worried about making something look like what it is but you know that it's a, what it is that I love I'm not there yet I may never get to that point. I have um, something in my brain that really wants to know what it is that I'm looking at. It just, you know, but I love her sense of whimsy and her styling and the color she uses and the constant talk that she has on reminding herself that you got to stay back on the brush and you got to stand back from the painting and you've, you know, don't be precious and don't worry because things are going to change. And that's part of it. Things are going to change. Uh, things change. Colors change. Positions change. Curtains change. Uh, shadows go in that you don't an anticipate ever having to put in. All of the different things. I love it. And I loved getting to play with this painting. Now I am going to just sort of uh, hang out, do my painting. I'm just clipping back and forth through things here. I'm trying to not put too many different things in a video because I don't want you guys to get bored. So we're going to cut to, you know, getting closer to being finished after I get this uh, flamingo lightened up. And... I will uh, see you guys back here at the end. Okay, that's brightening that up. Curtains are that blue, he's that pink. Maybe this needs to be pink. helping I think I think that's helping it needs to be darker yeah 
yes. Yes, yes, yes. All right, I know I said I'd come back at the end, but I had to come back now. I want you guys to realize that I have sped up any of these speed parts that you see where I'm moving really fast. I have sped this up 400%. So, and I have cut out bits. The first day that I painted uh, with the gouache was about 20 minutes. Then when I went in and started working with the acrylic, it was about another 45 minutes. So I had about an hour on um, the first day. The second day, I spent about an hour again. So this painting was not done in 20 minutes. This painting was done in two hours. And it's a lot easier for me to do a painting that quickly if I am not talking. <laughs> So because I wasn't teaching anybody, I would, except for myself, I could move along a little bit more quickly sometimes with, <laughs> with this painting and get it done to my liking. Now, is it something that anybody would buy? I don't know. If somebody wanted to buy it, they could talk to me, give me a call, send me a DM. You know, uh, message me, whatever. Uh, I'm on Instagram. I'm on Facebook. Deliberately creative. So those are the places where you can find me and you can contact me if you're interested in buying this painting. I don't know. Probably not anybody would be interested. But maybe somebody will. Somebody who uh, likes a little bit of whimsy. You know? And I uh, appreciate that. But anyway, this was a painting that I was doing for myself, for learning and skill building and all of those things. So don't, you know, don't put pressure on yourself because you don't finish something in the length of one of these videos, because that's not the intent of my vlogs. My vlogs is to share my creativity and creative pursuits and the learning that I'm doing with the materials that I have. So there we go. Okay. I think I need to sign it. My dad said I should put some little pinch glasses on the beak of this flamingo looking out the window. I'm gonna try it. Huh. 
I know what they are, but I don't think anybody else would. Don't know that I like it, but we'll try. We'll just keep playing. Yeah, maybe. Let's see. <laughs> they actually look kind of cute. You'll have to see it in a different angle, I think. You've got to stand out on the other side. Making this up as I go along, folks. This is just for fun. Because this whole thing is just for fun. It's just a sketch, even though I've spent a couple hours on it. I am really happy. Guys, these are cheap paints. They were like $2 a tube. They don't stink. Um, they work great on paper. There's very little sheen. Yeah, so I have this stacked up on one easel box stacked on top of another easel box. All right, get the other easel box out of the way. All right, we're gonna start pulling some of this tape off. This is the top-down view. I do not put my tape on perfectly, guys. I don't measure, so my margins aren't always super accurate. That's just the way I've been since forever. Look at this! <gasps> Look at this! Isn't it cute? I'm really, really happy with how this turned out. My first ever one this big, 18 by 24 on mixed media paper. I am hooked. So thanks guys for watching and make sure and check out the videos in my playlist for the vlog and go out and do something creative. Take care of yourself so you can take care of those around you. See you back here again really soon.